In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a rubric, how to associate a rubric with an assignment, and how to grade using the rubric. What you want to do first is go into the course in which you'll be importing the rubric. Under the control panel, click on Course Tools, and go down to Rubrics. There are several rubrics here, but we'll want to import a rubric. Click on the Import Rubric button. Click on Browse My Computer, where your rubric zip file will be stored. And browse for that rubric. Click Open. Click Submit. This rubric was imported successfully, so you click OK. And you'll be able to see the rubric now in the rubric list. This does not mean that it's assigned to any uh, uh, assignment or associated with any assignment, so we'll do that now. Go to the Lessons area and create an assignment. Since this is a VoiceThread rubric, we'll just type in VoiceThread Presentation. I already have some instructions to provide to students. What you'll want to do next, down below, is go to Add a Rubric, or Select a Rubric, under that menu. When you hit Select a Rubric, it will pop up a list of the rubrics that you have. I want to associate this uh, VoiceThread grading rubric with this assignment. So click the check bar box and hit Submit. Now it'll ask uh, if it wants to use the point totals in the rubric for the total points for this assignment. I want to go ahead and hit yes here. You can see it's added the point totals possible through the rubric here in the points possible window. Now we have associated this rubric with this assignment, but it is not visible to students yet. So in order to make it visible to students, over here on the right side, you, can, you have several selections. One is yes with rubric scores, yes without rubric scores, and after grading. I'm going to select yes with rubric scores. When you see the green check mark, that means that it's going to be visible to students. Once you're done with the assignment, you hit submit. Now from the student's perspective, I'm going to log out and log in as a student. And this is the course in which I've associated that rubric assignment. So under Lessons, I'm going to now click on the VoiceThread presentation. It says when you've completed the assignment, click the assignment link in the text editor box, type ready to be graded. So I'm going to do that. Now students here can view the rubric. They can see what they're going to be uh, uh, graded on. And if I click on that button, it'll pull up this window. It'll show them the complete rubric, how many points are possible. Um, the, the whole rubric is, is listed here. Once I'm done as a student, I'll hit Submit. Now I'll go back as an instructor and look at that uh, submission. I want to go under Grade Center, Full Grade Center. And you can see under VoiceThread Presentation, I'll click on the drop down here and View Attempt. And from the Attempt window, you can see that um, the student has said, I'm ready to be graded. If you're going to VoiceThread to view their presentations, you would do that at this time. When you're ready to grade that assignment, you just click on the View Rubric Tool button. It will pull up the rubric for you to grade. 
and based on the student's performance you can just select the uh, the rubric categories if this student uh, had done exemplary in this category I would select that button you can actually provide feedback there if you wish and just this just score students uh, right from this window once you're done scoring based on this assignment you can just hit submit or save there is another feedback area if you want to give overall general comments you can do that here but whenever you save um, you don't have to add any point totals you hit save it will add the point totals here to the student grade when you're done with that you can go ahead and hit submit so if you have any other questions about importing using a rubric um, please give us a call here at OTC online blackboard support our number is 447-8200, option 2. Thank you.